Don't don't worry about what this is. If if you don't know what that is, that's on you. Hello everyone. My name is Wanizi and I put the dub in Wotaku. So the plan for today is to watch the Gundam's Game Fest, give it a nice little critique. Before we get into it, if you guys could just like the video, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But anywho, let's jump right in. SD Gundam Battle Alliance was announced recently. I remember there was an Please, if anybody knows, please let me know. But there was definitely a free to play game that was very similar to this. That was like Gundam Capsule Fighters or something like that. I, it was a gotcha. It was 100% a gotcha, but I can't remember it. But I remember there was a game si that looks similar to this. So we're going to see if that is exactly what this is. I hope it's not a gotcha, but I've been got before. Hit combo with various weapons. Charge the SPA recast gauge and unleash your special attack. This kind of looks fun though, like low key. Like this kind of looks kind of gas a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Am I gonna try? I might have to. I don't know. I'm liking it. The works. Okay. Complete distorted stories of break missions. Also, oh, it's kind of like Xenoverse. Registered. This is kind of sick, dude. Like, this is kind of sick. As a, like, I think, I'm not a huge Gundam fan. Um, I'm watching Gundam now, but I'm not like a huge, I didn't really grow up on it. I remember watching Fighter, uh, Gundam G Fighter, I think it was, way back in the day. But I remember watching Gundam G Fighter when I was a kid and watching a little bit, like maybe four or five episodes of Gundam Wing. But I've always been a fan of Gundams. I just never really watched the shows. I loved the games, though. I was always obsessed with playing the games because I like giant robots. This is probably like for a Gundam fan, they're probably freaking out right now, man. This is pretty sick. This is pretty hype. I remember the one games that I wish would come back. I wish the Gundam Dynasty Warrior games would come back because those were so gas, dude. Crazy. Those are so good. And a multiplayer mode. What's the prize? Organize a platoon of three mobile suits. What's the prize? This is gonna be free to play. There's no way. Completing various missions, you can obtain blueprints capital and expansion parts that can be used to strengthen new mobile suits so enhance your favorite mobile suits and use them to complete missions with each mobile suit's own unique armament anyone can easily create their own unique combos by hitting them with a series of blows in addition by attacking the enemy's back weak points or linking combos in the air you can deal even more where players become I don't know why you just had to explain special attacks time, but and then unleash a flashy action it takes time to charge to use the special attack but by successfully hitting a compass of your oh no I skipped the head special attacks to oh no addition, can't do anything about it this game $60 okay but here's the thing though, here's the thing though, here's the thing though. It is $60, but that means it's not free to play. So, it might be worth it. Like I might not have to shell out a lot of money to play this game. We're gonna keep, we're gonna put that, oh, it's already on the wish list. Don't even worry about it. I bet, we moving on, we moving on. New trailer? Put this shit up, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This game was so good, bro. Oh my god, I need this. I need this game back, bro. I need it back, bro. I need Barba. I need Barbados or Barbatos or Berea Tacos to uh, get nerfed. Oh, so it's coming out this year. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on it. I'm Gundam on it. I cannot claim wait. Victory. You have no idea. The console network test will take place in the US, Canada, and Japan. Please see the detail here. We'll introduce three game modes. Oh, three game point modes. Capture. Oh, I already I already played this though. In point capture, players are divided for control the objective to protect them. Point capture, you capture the point. And then when you capture the first point, you capture the next point. One team defends, one team attacks. Whoever captures the most points or gets furthest in capturing the most points wins at the end of the game. Teams fight to control Domination. Three There's three points now. You gotta capture the point that's active. So if C is active, you and your team have to go capture it. The team that's captured the most points at the end of the game wins. Attacker and defender. Destruction. There's a now there's a point that you blow up. One team attacks, one team defends. <laughs> one team has to go to one of the, either A or B and blow it up. The other team has to stop the team from doing that. When you do it once, you do it a second time, and if you do it both times, you get two points. The other team has to stop you from doing that. The person who destroys the most points wins. Team. The objecting a team. team. <laughs> Let's keep it going, bro. <laughs> Uh, but this game is it's more gundam overwatch but it's really good i think it's super good um it's a team-based shooter they're doing different things from overwatch which makes it unique and i am a big fan of the franchise so i think that this is going to have a really good space it's going to be one of those things where like remember how remember how like dragon ball fighter z kind of took over the space that marvel versus capcom left that's what i feel like this game might be it might be the anime game that takes over the space of something that wasn't originally like an anime game's place. Because usually the thing about anime games in general, and there's a whole video on this, I don't think we respect those games enough, but I also don't think they've earned enough respect to begin with. So like, I'm really happy to see games like Fighter Z get their limelight. And I think this game is going to take over the space that was left by Overwatch if we really wanted to, you know? And he just, I think this is going to launch in September, unfortunately. Um, it's just too, if it was going to launch any time before August, we would have heard it by now. This is going to launch in September well, past September, not on September. I think it's going to go, I think it's going to launch in like October, if you ask me. So I played a little bit of this on my PS4 and I believe this is definitely a gotcha, but we're going to see if they get us. Being built in an underground area where supplies are stored. The only thing I really don't like about this, this, um, this whole th event is that they like painstakingly explain every single thing to us. They showed us this picture. They showed us this frame and then said, Hey, this map is called supply depot. Couldn't have figured that out myself. It's in the desert. Oh, that's what this is. It's just in the desert. That's really about it. And I'm like, Oh, like we don't, you don't need to explain all of this. This is a 20 minute video that if you cut out all of the unnecessary explanations, it probably would have been 10. On the legacy of the Project Zeta, equipped with the highly adaptable beam rifle and beam saber, it is also equipped with a shield beam cannon and shield grenade launcher, making it a mobile suit that can respond to a variety of My situations. God. Of course, they can also transform into Wave Rider form. <laughs> the campaign is currently underway, so check it out. This game is Additionally, kidding. This here's a is new kidding. mobile suit coming. And finally, here are some new titles. Please new? check the trailer. New titles? I love me some new titles. Every Gundam oh, story on your smartphone. While enjoying a story <laughs> inspired by the original Gundam works. Players create their own troops beyond the original story. <laughs> it, it's a mobile tactical RPG, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't want this. I'm sure somebody's happy. I didn't want this. Here's here's my takeaway. Um, the one thing that I really wanted to see uh, more of, if it lets me. And Japan. So like Gundam Evolution, when I played it, I felt like that game was good to go as is. It needed to add more cosmetics, 
but as is that game was good to go like i didn't i wasn't expecting anything crazy new from gundam evolution right sd battle alliance i'm not gonna lie to you was giving very much free to play vibes but it's 60 dollars, so that can either go one of two ways it's either going to be around the six or seven like range of review like it's gonna be a six or a seven for sixty dollars or it's gonna be really good and i am just not seeing the vision because that could also be it i think this game is gonna be pretty solid i'm just a little concerned because i kind of it looked very much like a free-to-play game like a good free-to-play game but now that it's sixty dollars i really hope there's just more there like, I hope it's not. It's reminding me a lot of Xenoverse. And Xenoverse was cool, but it never really blew me away. Like, I was a fan of it, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. But there is probably a community for it. So I'm happy about Battle Alliance. I'm happy it's not free to play because I don't think we, we need any more free to play games, to be honest with you. Um, This is actually my biggest disappointment was uh, Battle Operations. Because I felt like this is the one where they should have announced if it was coming to PC or not. And don't get me wrong... I'm sure it's super fun to play on the PlayStation and whatnot, but I don't have a PlayStation right now. I have a PS4, but I'm not going to turn the PS4 on, pay for PlayStation Plus for the free-to-play game. Like, this is kind of, um, it's kind of sad, because I thought, I thought they were going to announce a, a Steam version or a PC version. This I'm a little upset about. I heard that this game was kind of like a gotcha. I don't know. I don't want to, like, I played a little bit of it, and it gave me those vibes of, like, Collect the mobile suits, get X, Y, Z, and yada, yada, yada. Um, but I didn't know that it was a 6v6 fighter or shooter or whatever. That's interesting because if it's a gotcha, how does that work for a 6v6 game, you know? How can you have a gotcha and a multiplayer game and not feel like pay to win? So definitely need to see more on this game. Um, let me look it up, actually. Oh, it's on a wait list. Join the battle test. Okay. Okay, so I was so it is coming to Steam. Okay, so that's why I didn't say that. Oh, there's a there's a play test. Request access. Oh, I got access. All right, cool. How, how big is this download? 31 gigabytes. We're not playing that today. I'll add it to my wish list. I'll definitely play this. I'll definitely play it. Because we the streets need to know. We need to know if it's a gotcha. But yes, all in all, I think that. Bandai Namco is coming out with some heat. We're going to see where this goes. Am I a little biased? Maybe. But I think that Evolution is going to be great. Gundam Alliance, I still want to see more of it, but I'm not against it. Um, I'm hoping for the best. I think that I think we got I think we got some good stuff uh, a, a brewing. All right, you guys, we're live, but I'm going to have I'm going to hit the outro real quick because I'm not trying to record this shit a second time. <clears throat> thank you guys for watching oh actually 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 hold on a second let's pretend like we didn't just watch it let's pretend like we didn't just watch it thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it let me know what you guys thought about the gundam game fest what game are you looking out for what's your favorite gundam actually no 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 no, no. what's your favorite mobile suit let me know in the comments make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more gaming content and i'll catch you guys next time otaku out